Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some new upcycle handbags that I will be releasing on my website very soon like at the end of this week, beginning of next week. So I wanted to give you all a heads up, but I also wanted to get your feedback or maybe what names I should give a few of these bags. Some of them I've come up with some names, others I haven't. So maybe one of your suggestions might end up being one of the names of these bags. So I would love to hear from you. I value your feedback and opinion. So if you're into fashion, you're into accessories, handbags, that type of thing, then go ahead, stick around, like, and subscribe. I think you're going to enjoy this video. So I have a business called New Life Art and Design. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm wearing one of my uh, t-shirts that I have in the shop now featuring the logo of the company. And guess what? T-shirts are on sale now for $12.95 until July 14th. So go ahead, take a look in the shop. I have other t-shirts with original works of art uh, printed on them by me. So yeah, just browse around and you can get them in regular tea. You can get them in large, medium. You can get them in fitted. You can get them in loose fit. You can get them in tank top, long sleeves, you name it. And you can get them in an array of colors. So let's go ahead and jump into these bags. The first bag that I want to share with you is this bag by Apostrophe. So as you know, I find bags that are made of leather and I paint on them with Angela's acrylic paint. This bag, like I said, is made by Apostrophe, which I think is a free people brand if I'm not mistaken, or it could be a JCPenney brand. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. But this bag is made up of genuine leather and the trim is man-made. So the body of this bag is all leather. The handle or the strap is man-made and the bottom of it is man-made but everything else is genuine leather so let's talk about this bag so i use three colors i use gold bronze and green for the color scheme of this bag i use a spackling knife to adhere the acrylic paint on and i did it in layers so that you could see all of the colors kind of showing through and then on the flap of the bag, I painted on top of the spackling with green to create this leaf overlapping pattern that you see here, which kind of gives me jungle vibes. So I was thinking of including the word jungle in the name of this bag, but if you have something else that you come up with, then I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So really, really cute bag. This bag is very roomy and spacious. It has a snap front flap closure. When you open it up, it has three main compartments. It has a center zip closure for more secure uh, placement of your items. And then you also have this additional zip pocket here in the back. What I love about this bag is that it also has a zip pocket on the back side for those easy to access items. Absolutely love this bag. It also has an adjustable shoulder strap. It can only be worn as a shoulder bag. As you can see here, it has this little tag that shows you that it is a genuine leather bag with man-made trim. I painted the sides in bronze and allowed the natural brown of the bag to show through. So this is just a really cute eye-catching bag with its natural design. And so that is bag number one. All right, we're gonna move on to bag number two. Bag number two was actually inspired by Says What? Suz was one of the ones who commented in a previous video when I asked if anyone had any suggestions on what designs I could do in a future release. And Suz asked me if I knew about Newspaper Rock and I never heard of Newspaper Rock. So of course I had to Google it and do a little bit of research. And I learned that Newspaper Rock is a natural monument in Southwest Utah where they have petroglyphs on the rocks. And petroglyphs is when you carve into rock and you create images. So you can scratch into the rock and then you know how it takes away the top layer surface and then you have an image. People do it all the times when they're scratching their name into rocks and things like that. So that's what a petroglyph is. And there's all of these different types of images, natural images of animals and people and arrows and things like that on the rock. And that's what the Native Americans used to communicate to one another. And they believe that the ancestral uh, Puebloan Indians are the ones that 
scratched into this particular rock. Well, we know that Native Americans have been communicating with, with one another using symbols uh, across the board, like no matter what part of the world, those Native Americans had their own way of communicating and their own symbols that they used. So kind of piggybacking off of the newspaper rock, I found some other illustrations that are Native American, um, I guess, symbols, and I incorporated them into this bag. So this bag is kind of a Native American feel. I wanted to include the word native in the name of this bag. So I'm still playing around with the name on this one as well. But I'm going to talk to you about the symbols on this bag because I feel like you should know what you're buying and what the symbols mean when you're making a purchase. But this bag is an all leather bag and the brand on this bag is Diba True for real life. And it's made in India and it is an all leather bag. I love the tassel and strap on it. It does have a zip pocket on the back, which I like. And let's talk about the symbols before we talk about the inside of the bag. I did use three colors once again. I used turquoise, terracotta, and bone. So this right here is a rattlesnake's jaw and this is representing strength. Over here we have a pattern of deer, prints and that means plentiful meaning that hunting is good in this area if you see the deer prints the arrow means protection this represents a horse which means journey and traveling up here you have this triangle with the horizontal lines which represents a tp which is a temporary dwelling place this cross right here represents two path crossing so when you come to a crossroads the mountain range here means greater, greater abundance. And then over here, you have the Thunderbird print, which is to represent goodness and blessings. Uh, on the back side, we have the Thunderbird, uh, which is representing good fortune, prosperity. And then over here is representing the butterfly, and this represents eternal life. So those are the symbols on the bag, all have very good meaning. So uh, when you carry this bag, you can feel good knowing that none of these bad, uh, symbols have any bad meaning to them. So if you open up the flap of the bag, the inside is just a large cavernous type opening and it has the brand printed throughout the bag. And then it has a zip pocket with a leather label with the brand printed and then slip pockets also on the other side. I tried to trim down here with the opposing opposite colors from the top. The bottom is flat and so it will stand up when you set it down. That is it for this bag. Like I say, I don't know, I wanted to call, maybe call it native beauty or native symbols. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this bag, but if you have any suggestions for bag number two, then let me know in the comments below. All right, so this next bag, I do have a name for. This bag is called Travel Light, and you'll see why in just a minute. But this is a vintage uh, Etienne Anye bag, or Agner as some might say. And this bag is just a taupe bag. And what I decided to do was just illustrate very loosely with a paintbrush various um, landmarks that are from around the world. So you have Venice with the Venice Bridge and the gondola here. I have Big Ben from London there, the Rome Coliseum and the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and then a skyscraper in New York. So these are the illustrations of this bag. And I did do paint this black. This bag was all one color in the beginning and I trimmed it with gold. On the back side, it says travel light. And I just kind of, you know, when I think about living as we grow and mature in our living and in our journey, our life's journey, our load should be lightened. You know, the weight should be lifted off us as we become wiser and more in tune with God, you know, giving our burdens to him. So everything we should be lifting off of us as we get older. We shouldn't be burdened down and worried with things as we get older. We Our load should be lightened as we get over, older. So this is called Travel Light. And this bag 
opens like this. I believe they call that a clamps opening, but it has the hinges on the side where you just pull it open in the center. It does have slip pocket here on the inside and the fabric lining is imprinted with Etienne Anye on the inside. It does have a flat bottom, so it does stand up and rest very well. And it is a shoulder bag. So really, really cute bag. And that's bag number three. All right, the next bag I love, love, love. And I contemplated whether or not I should paint on this bag, but I decided to go ahead and do it. This is a vintage coach saddle shaped bag. And I love sunflowers. So I incorporated a sunflower on this bag and I use yellows, oranges, browns, and greens, and a little bit of gold to do the edging in uh, of that flower to make it stand out. And I just thought it fits so well on this flap of this bag. Otherwise, it was just a all black bag and it has a snap opening. It does have a slip pocket in front and then it has a zip pocket on the inside, but I have it stuffed right now and like the back side does have a slip pocket as well and a long strap that you can wear as a cross body bag. And this is what it looks like. And this one I'm gonna call Sunflower Saddle Bag, I guess. But if you have another name, let me know in the com comments below. But Sunflower Saddle Bag. And like I said, this is a vintage coach bag. So that is bag number four. Moving on to bag number five. Bag number five is called Crack Me Up. <laughs> and these are just cracks that I kind of painted on the bag. You know, laughter is medicine for the soul. You know, it is good to laugh and have fun. And I really admire people who are naturally humorous and who can make other people laugh. And I just think that is a wonderful quality to have. And, you know, I have people in my life who definitely crack me up. And so that's why I call this bag Crack Me Up. And it has bright, vivid, beautiful colors. Because when you're laughing, that's what it does. It lightens you. It makes you feel happy. And so it has pinks and turquoise and blues. And I just love this color. This is also a vintage Agner bag or Etienne Anye bag. Really, really nice design. I did not paint the bottom. I just wanted that to be left, but all of the bags are coated once they are painted. So the paint will last on the bag. And if you ever need to clean them, all you have to do is get a warm, damp cloth and just wipe it. That's all you have to do. So when you open it up, it's a snap opening. And on the inside, it has handmade and it is genuine leather and it has a zip pocket on this side and then the fabric is with the Etienne Anye fabric on the inside. But that is what it looks like when you open it. Kind of looks like a mountain range almost, but like I say, it's called Crack Me Up. And that is it for my upcoming releases. Like I say, help me out with names. If you can't come up with a name, it's okay. I'll have the name by the end of this week and upload it. So make sure you check my site for not just my t-shirts that are $12.95 right now until July 14th, but I also have these gift sets of cards. Now, this is a gift set of seven cards with original works of art by me Comes with seven cards and seven envelopes. And this series was given to me uh, by God years ago, and I have not added to the series because I think seven is the number of completion. So I stopped with that for this set. And this set is called Spiritual Journey. And this first card is called Joyful Spiral. Most of these cards have a scripture to go with it, but this one did not because there is a poem on the front of it, which you can read. This one is called Victoria Stan and the uh, scripture that goes with this is Psalm 60:12. This one is called Defining Decision and the verse that goes with this is Joshua 24:15. This one is called Standing on the Rock and the uh, scripture that goes with this one is Psalm 40 verse 2. This one is called Beside Still Waters and the poem that goes, I should say, the scripture that goes with this one is Psalm 23. This one is called, uh, I believe, 
walking in faith and this one is goes with scripture mark eleven twenty two, and then the last one is standing in the light of glory and this one is revelation 7 9. these are the seven cards that i just showed you in the box set and you can find them on my site there are only 22 box sets left and they will make great gifts for anyone for any reason or any time of the year so that is it everybody let me know your thoughts in the comments below give me some feedback i'd love to hear from you and like i say click the link in the description box below so that you can see the site and browse and peruse and see what other things that i have my name's audrey also known as noble strength reminding you to be a good steward of all that god has given you because he loves us so much and i love you too and i'll see you next time bye